Hello guys, welcome to Puffy Rule. I'm Roger. Hope all of you are safe. Have a drink, have a snake. Oops, I mean a snack. Yep, on that note, let's get into the rabbit hole. Today I'm gonna show you how to play 4 at 4 with over 100 mods on a potato, I mean a, a budget laptop. But before we start, I wanna tell you I researched over 4 months in all Bethesda games, all of Fallout games, Skyrim as well. But today I'm gonna show you Fallout 4. So please subscribe and after all that I found that the best YouTubers in my opinion are Gopher, MXR who has a crazy content, I love that guy but not in that way, and Gamers Poet who is the best in guides if you wanna get started on modding your game. So let me show you the specs of our uh, potato here, it's an i3 with 2.4 GHz, AGB of memory, and of course the Atti Potato, I mean the graphic card, with bloody hell 1 GB of RAM, that's a lot. So let's get to the modding. I'm using Mod Organizer 2, you can use Vortex as well, if it's easier for you, this is easier for me. You can see here it says 129 mods active, that's not true. I'm using empty mods so I can have everything organized, so I can know which mod is which. If I want to change something, test something. The real mods or plugins that goes with your game are active here. 105, but there are more. are like over 100 and then because some mods, they don't show up here. I'm going to scroll down easy on this list so you can see the mods. But remember guys, you need Fallout 4 with all DLCs. And also you don't need all the mods here. You can choose 50, 20, as much as you like. This works perfectly. I tested a lot the mods because at the beginning I had crashes, artifacts, but now everything works. So let's get started. These are the texture mods, the ones that you're gonna make your game look beautiful. If you can see, I use 2K, 4K, and some 8K resolution packs, but you can choose different. If you have a better rig, this will work even better on you. One mod I want to talk about a little bit is Vivid Weather. Though this is a mod for weather, of course, I love it, but here's something else. See, if you want to get your game looks awesome, a lot of people use EMB, but if your rig is not that powerful, an EMB has a huge impact on performance. What's an EMB? Well, an EMB stands for Enhanced Natural Beauty. It's a a graphic enhancer so it makes your game looks much better all your graphics looks better but like i said has a huge impact on your performance the vivid weather has inside it something like an emb with a lot of presets that has no impact on your performance so i'm gonna show you that in the game let's go back down to business i use a lot of outfits and a lot of body texture if you can see i'm playing with a character that's a female the reason I play with a female is because uh, you have a lot of outfits and a lot of modes for female characters. If you play a male, you don't have so much. I use body physics because I like to be immersive. I like, like my character or pineapples in front to go up and down. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Everybody loves that. So let's go down more and more. For weapon, I'm using a texture mod as well, 4K. Well. Before we go deeper into the rabbit hole, I want to tell you all these mods here are from Nexus Mods. I have a huge shout out for all modders because without them we don't have this great content. The rest of the mods from the advanced animation are from Bingo. Nova Slab. Yeah, they are great for immersion. Let me show you. Yeah, don't look at this. The name. No, no, no. It's not what it says here. This mod let you have slaves. You can play with them. Uh, have fun. It's simple, you just dart anybody and you have a slave, any NPC. Of course, you can become a slave as well. The riders can make you a slave. This mod is makes you or any NPC in the game pregnant and have kids. Like I said, immersive. Yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, this one um, lets you play with uh, your friends and NPCs. It has a lot of toys. I'm gonna show you in game. I'm gonna show every mod in a different video. So let's show you the next part. You need some programs like Xedit. This is for cleaning your mods and much more. I'm gonna explain this in a different video. Today I'm gonna show you something from Loot. Loot is a load order organizer. It does 90% of the work, but you still need to tweak your load order if you want your game to be smooth. 
potato power. Yeah, look for Santa until this uh, loads up. All right, here you have the plugins that gonna start with your game and mods. It's very simple. Just press this button and tada! I said tada! Voila! That's it. Close this and let's start the game to show you the content. Two hours later. Finally, we are in the game. You can see I play this game on this laptop. The reason is because Alexa is doing an in-depth review for this laptop. So check the video out and also stay tuned to see the animation mods. Yeah, the ones with toys and friends. So let's get into the rabbit hole. Yeah, so finally are in the game, guys. First, let's check the pineapples go up and down. Body physics. The armor is from the movie Ghost in a Shell and the mod is called Jits. There are lots of armor from that movie. This is my character, this is how she looks. And this is Nora. And let me show you Piper. I have a mod that you can change the companions. The armor on her is Iron Man armor. And now let me show you the slave first. Every mod that can go in the mod configuration. This is the mod uh, I talk about. Now let me show you about it. I need somebody to shoot with my electro dart. Are you serious? Wait a second, please. Yeah, all right. I think I have somebody behind. Let's dart him. When you go next to it, you capture it and press yes to the slave. Oh, no, no, no. She's all... Uh... Yeah, YouTube demonetized. So you can take everything from her inventory. But right now, I really need to put a bloody armor on it. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is better. Now I can show you the menu. Every NPC's looks and faces are changed. This is about the friends and toys, if you remember I told you about. Now let me show you a little bit what you can do. But right now I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Now you have a living statue and a toy to play. A play bunny to play. Okay. You can see the graphics. Now let me show you about the EMB and the FPS impact on performance. This is how the road looks with mods and the bridge everything right now i have emb on i have an emb it's called stalker emb so the game looks like stalker game more cold this is no emb just the mods in the game so let me show you with the EMB and the performance. Right now you see I have like 19 FPS. The reason is I'm recording from this uh, laptop. So normally you have with the EMB 25, 30 FPS. That's okay for play. But with no EMB, you see it goes to 23, 24 FPS. But if I don't record, it's normally 45, 40, 45 FPS. So it's more than in a console, so it's good. 
with the 100 mods Fallout 4 on GB of RAM. Alright, now let me show you the Vivid Weather and the EMB from it. It has a lot of presets, it's like 10 EMBs in one and there's no impact on your performance. You can tweak it how you like, but for now I'm gonna show you a preset or two. Let's try Candyland because we need some color in our life. This year was ugly, so let's make it colorful a little bit. So now you can see everything is more vibrant. The color palette change. I like it like this. I tweak the bloom. I take it out and the, the sunlight I put it more down but you can tweak it how you prefer the thing is you have no impact on your performance and if you have a better PC you're gonna love it this is the only weather mode that I know to use this kind of stuff okay let me show you the weapons I use this is the Ingram Mac 10 this mod you can customize how you like. Right now I have gangster style. You can modify the weapons, every weapon I have you can modify. And I tell you exactly the name of the mod so you can check it out. This is the MP40. This is the FNX45. I use silence on my weapons. This is the bazooka. All weapons are modified. This is the dark gun that you know. This is the MP40 modify. The one I use the most is the AK47M. This gun you can modify everything on it, even the color. And most of the guns you can modify everything. So yeah. Let me show you some armor right now fast. This is the Vault Suit. The mod is 2 pack for even Sweet Dreams. Remember this armor and outfit, they change the NPC as well. So yeah. This is from the Jeet Suit. It goes with this if you like. This is the Cyrus armor. This is the Corsair X92, I love this armor, it's a power armor and it has a lot of modules you can put in the armor. This is the Black Widow armor, this is full with the helmet. On this one if you go to first person everything goes kind of black and white but is you can see enemies like you can see their souls. But it's actually a cool armor, I love it. And the Pit Boy as well is from that armor. You can see it's change. I have a lot of armors, weapons, anything you name it. Even the pit boy is change. Let's drink some uh, whiskey and I'll show you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some gameplay. I need to find some enemies, and if you don't kill an enemy, you can uh, play with it. You know what I mean? You can make it not your slave, but uh, your puppet. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna show you the animations. The ones that you can play with your friend and toys. You actually can surrender to your enemy, and you're gonna get... ...treated like a puppet. And uh, everybody will come to have fun with you. Now I surrender and you will see what happens. Both you and your companion are gonna get violated. Let's see. And also they're gonna put cuffs on you 
or bondage outfit so like i said immersive now everybody from here gonna have a turn on you and your companion Look at the robots, they look nice. So on that note guys, if you like it, please subscribe, smash that like button, if you don't want to get uh, in her position by the door. See you in the next rabbit hole, be safe, respect.